Hello, I'm Sally Taylor. Welcome to South Today. In tonight's program, appointment to view why patients are watching their favourite TV programmes during NHS operations. How do you keep a patient calm whilst they're going under the knife? Well, a Dorset hospital is thought to be the first in the country to allow patients to watch their favourite TV box set during an NHS operation. The Royal Bournemouth Hospital is trialling the use of special goggles to help patients relax and they're hoping it will allow more complex procedures to be carried out under local anaesthetic, as Matt Treacy has been finding out. Hello, good evening. You're fired. Imagine watching your favourite TV programme. Hello, I'm Sally Taylor. Welcome to South Today. While having an operation. In the past, we've used options such as music, nice ceiling um, tiles to allow them to be in a more comfortable environment or sedated them. And those are our only options. So we're hoping that using these audio-visual goggles um, it will allow them to be distracted. They can watch a movie or a box set or even what we're doing. So the imaging that we're watching can be then translated and transferred onto these. This prostate operation using tiny incisions under local anaesthetic is exactly the kind of procedure where the headset can be useful. The number of these operations is starting to increase and it's difficult to get a patient to lie still for a couple of hours on an uncomfortable table. It's hoped that these goggles will allow more complex procedures in the future. It's weird because you, you know, a lot of the time you don't know anything's going on because you're concentrating on what's on the TV. Um, and then every now and again obviously there are you know, changes in temperature and things and then you're back immersed in the TV again. What did you end up watching? Uh, Killing Eve. The last couple of episodes of series two. Sleep well? I was, I was watching Villanelle cut some guy's throat. <laughs> and I was thinking, God, I hope there isn't as much blood going on down the bottom end of me as there was on the TV. <laughs> it has allowed the distraction, so they haven't been aware that we've even started the procedure because they've been watching this and they haven't been aware that we've finished the procedure before we've taken them off. So, uh, so far, it's been very successful. Being able to do more operations using fewer drugs is not just safer, but reduces recovery time and shorter stays in hospital saves the NHS money. I think if somebody's particularly nervous, I think it would probably be brilliant for me. It was an interesting experience and I can go home at seven o'clock tonight because I haven't had so much sedation. So it's all good. Got to be careful what you choose to watch, haven't you? Uh, that was Matt Treacy with that report.